Hello, I'm Paul Melrose, Assisting Pastor of Pastoral Care at First United Methodist Church of Madison. Today, I just thought we would spend a few moments in prayer. Prayer in such a time as we are living, where as of this morning, we are celebrating legal rights for all gays and transgenders to not be able to be fired from jobs. And yet we have experienced another murder confrontation with police in Atlanta. The virus continues to spike. Protests and marches continue across the country. It is a time for a moment to pause for prayer. And that's what I invite you to do now as I share with you some prayers from a collection of prayers by Old Testament theologian Walter Brueggemann entitled Prayers for a Privileged People. Our first prayer is entitled, We Bid Your Presence. O oh God, we know about your presence that fills the world, that occupies our life, that makes our life in the world true and good. We notice your powerful transformative presence in word and sacrament, in food and in water, in gestures of mercy and practices of justice, in gentle neighbors and daring gratitude. We count so on your presence and then plunge without intending into your absence. We find ourselves alone, abandoned, without resources, remembering your goodness, hoping your future but mired in anxiety and threat and risk beyond our coping. In your absence, we bid your presence, come again, come soon, come here, come to every garden, become a jungle, come to every community, become joyless, sad, and numb. We acknowledge your dreadful absence and insist on your presence, come again, Come soon, come here. And we continue with this prayer. You, Lord God and sovereign, you, God, lover and partner, you are God of all possibilities. You preside over all comings and goings, wealth, poverty, sickness, health, despair, hope, living and dying, and we are grateful. You are God of all our impossibilities. You have presided over the emancipations, healings of our mothers and fathers and other forebearers. You have presided over the wondrous transformations in our own lives. You have and will preside over those parts of our lives that we imagine to be closed, and we are grateful. So be your true self, enacting the things impossible for us, that we might yet be among the blind who see and the dead who are raised, that we may yet witness your will for peace, your vision for justice, your vetoing all of our killing fields. At the outset of this day, we place our lives in your strong hands. Before the end of this day, do newness among us in the very places where we are tired in fear, we are exhausted in guilt, we are spent in anxiety. Make all things new, we pray, in the new-making name of Jesus. We know well the honor roll of nation states and mighty empires, O God, that run all the way from Egypt and Assyria to Britain and Japan and Russia and finally to us. We know about the capacity for order that they have and the accompanying capacity for exploitation and violence. We know that the great powers, while held in your hand, are tempted to autonomy and arrogance. In the midst of war, we ponder our modern empire. In these moments, we hold our own resource-devouring empire up in your presence. For the moment, we pray for it. Forgiveness for its violence, 
authority for its vision of freedom, chastening for its distorted notion of peace. We pray, O oh God, for the moment that our own very empire, our own nation may be a vehicle for your good purposes. We pray that the sin of racism may be something we confront and move with, that the old hope of our faith continues, that the kingdoms of this world, including this nation, would become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. We do not doubt that you will reign forever and ever. Along with all waiting powers, we sing gladly forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And finally, truth-telling, wind-blowing, life-giving spirit, we present ourselves now for our instruction and guidance. Breathe your, breathe your truth among us. Breathe your truth of deep Friday loss, your truth of awesome Sunday joy. Breathe your story of death and life, that our story may be submitted to your will for life. We pray in the name of Jesus risen to new life and him crucified. Amen. <laughs>